I was in the Shire writing a book about nuts. Walnuts can make a great healthy snack. When all of a sudden... Fat man? <laughs> Why are you saying that to me, bro? You. Are you ready for an adventure? What kind of journey, bro? My precious. tournaments that we've been doing. Uh, we did the Manchester United Griezmann one, uh, we did Germany wins the World Cup, we did uh, Belgium wins the, the Pastry World Cup, and this time we're gonna do one around Fanta Di Maria, Lord of the Rings edition. <laughs> now before we get in the episode, just wanted to do a special update. Uh, I went to dinner last night with Skills and uh, Spencer. Um, Skills went with Ray, who you guys obviously know as well. And then uh, Spencer came with his girlfriend, Alex, and then I brought my girlfriend as well. We chatted for like three hours, had a nice little dinner. was absolutely awesome, and it's always really cool to see, you know, you watch people on YouTube, so you think that you know them. For, I've met Skills a couple times before, but like Spencer, for example, I know him as Spencer FC and Spencer on YouTube. So like you feel like you know them, and then you meet them, and then they're exactly sort of like what you expect them to be. So it was really cool hanging out with them, and um, actually Spencer got me this, uh, don't forget the hashtag United shirt. It's a large, so hopefully it fits. But um, yeah, just awesome. Got myself a got myself a shirt. Awesome guy, as as his skills. Incredible. Like went out five two, lost five two in the first match, but you know hung in there and represented the YouTubers really well in the Miami regionals, which was really cool. Spent pretty much all day there, then had to come home and finish my foot champs. But had an amazing amazing night last night. But that is that boy. So special shout out to those two. Also, Ultimate World League one hundred percent confirmed coming tomorrow, I promise you. It was supposed to be live Saturday or Sunday, but Ultimate World League, the, the graphics took a little bit longer to do, so uh, that is coming tomorrow, 100%. If you guys do enjoy the episode, if you guys want to continue seeing these little mini fictitious tournaments, don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, but uh, I was also thinking Fanta Ibrahimovic we could do where you could start off at Malmo, then go somewhere else. Uh, for example, could do um, could do Milan or like a Serie A side, and then finish off at uh, finish off at maybe United or something. I mean, there's so many clubs that Ibra's played for, so it would be tough to do. But maybe you guys let me know in the comment section below if there's a player or if there's some if there's some teams that you guys would suggest me doing for Ibra. Let me know in the comment section below. But for Di Maria, we have to start with Rosario. Now, one of the reasons that this tournament idea with these tourney epis are really cool is I get to use players that I wouldn't usually use uh, in FIFA. So, like I said, Rosario, uh, Primera Division is the Argentinian League. Forget me if I'm, forgive me if I'm butchering the, uh, the league name or the pronunciation, but uh, some of these players are players that I would never think to actually use in FIFA. Namely, uh, Carlitos Tevez has gone to uh, the Chinese Super League, obviously could use him, but this guy right here, Andres de Alessandro, has long shots, medium low work rates, which isn't great. But he's got four star weak with five star skill moves. The pace isn't uh, the pace isn't incredible there. But he looks like one of those gem cards that you would never think to use. But I mean, look, four star weak with five star skill moves as well. We've got this winger up here. Acosta has four star skill moves, three star weak foot plays for uh, Lanus. Again, I'm gonna butcher these names. Um, and then we've got some legends on the uh, on the bench as well. But the main man is gonna be Fanta Di Maria. You guys are probably wondering yourselves, way is he a massive upgrade? He goes from an 87 and 88 card that's only plus one. But there's some pretty significant significant uh, upgrades. Plus five positioning, you never know how that's gonna affect a player. I mean, plus five is a massive, massive upgrade. Plus five shot power and plus three agility, plus 23 in-game stat upgrade. So we're gonna see if he is a beast card. I got him for 405, uh, 450,000 coins. I think he's going for about, oh my God, I think he's going for like 300. Hope, might even be cheaper than that right now, but we've got this Fanta uh, Di Maria card. Got it for the crazy performance versus, uh, versus Barcelona in Champions League. Speaking of Champions League, Monaco and City just kicked off, as well as Leverkusen and Atletico Madrid. That uh, game is pretty crazy. I think Atletico just scored. So hopefully we're going to get through this episode, then I can watch the second half of the two Champions League matches. But we're going to kick things off with the Rosario side. Not going to give away what the second and third team is. Hopefully we can get that far in the tourney. Let's get into match number one. Los Gates. Match number one, and he's got Fanta Sinaldo. I don't actually want to talk about we Weekend League. It was one of my best ever starts, but one of my worst ever finishes. Oh man. At least we've got him Zizi. Wow. 
what the actual dude, Carlitos Tevez, might actually, dude, he's completely thinned out right now. Might be one of the fastest goals I've scored this year. Not even two minutes in. Carlitos Tevez. Carlitos. Mamma mia, Di Maria! On the driven! I think just clean that up! right now I'm just shooting like I get the little I get the littlest chance and his strength bro like no one can get the ball off come on at halftime I don't have too much to say about Di Maria but Carlitos Tevez has been absolutely tearing it up. Carlitos Tevez is literally our entire team. Outside of that chance he had with Mane that he converted, uh, hasn't done much of anything. Dude, this is the second half where Di Maria needs to show why he's worth it. Also wouldn't be a Fanta Di Maria attorney uh, episode if I didn't shout out Benfica, Real Madrid, and uh, United. Obviously played for those, uh, those three clubs as well, but decided to go, well, I'm not gonna give anything away. I kinda just did though, but. What is this card? Like, how many people are actually using Carlitos Tevez? I can't remember um, the last time I came up against someone that used him. I remember last year, there's one guy who would scream Carlitos anytime he did something with him, but I don't think I faced him. I don't think I faced him this year. He honestly feels like one of the fastest players. I have to look up... Dude. How is this going to extra time? We're gonna take out Mercier. The Alessandro is absolutely dead right now. Okay, we'll bring on this guy, Ruben. Dude, Carlitos. What the actual shit? We're not going to pen! I can't do pens! Pens, 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 wait, is shit at pens, he can't ever do pens, 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 Okay, so we won't go all the way to the final, but we're playing another freaking game, boys. I had this cool, like, full Argentinian side with my, uh, with my SBC Dybala. I had my 92 upgraded Pig YE. Now, this squad was what I was really looking forward to using, and I'm thinking we actually do use this one in the second match. Guedes, one of the winter transfers, got himself an upgrade. He's now a 77 overall gold card. Uh, Cavani got a plus one upgrade. His highest rated, um, informant is now a 90 overall. And then Pastore got downgraded. I believe Marquinhos got upgraded. And there's a bunch of Liga and upgrades. Um, Cabea, I believe, got a minus 7 downgrade. Ben Alpha's been downgraded to 83. Some crazy ones there. But we're going to use this full PSG side, obviously honoring the PSG side that absolutely tore up Barcelona. So we're going to get into it right now. Decided to leave out Verratti. But we are going to see if the trio of um, one to watch, 86 informed Draxler, uh, Fanta Di Maria, and 90 overall Cavani can tear some shit up. Technically shouldn't be playing this one because we're out of the tournament. So we're out of it. We're not going to be able to get match number three. But we're going to see if this squad can ball out.
Man City losing 2-1 to Monaco? Like, I know Monaco are good. Stop. I, uh, I forgot how to play FIFA, boys. <laughs> Finish the supply from he absolutely Bobby does number the four, it's and then the finesse of dreams. Come on, boys. Come on, e! Off the right post, boys, but it is far from over. How do we not have a goal with Di Maria yet? Bang! Destination oh. fucked! Oh, what are my guys doing? Dude, honestly, it's one of those days on FIFA yeah, where just yeah, the weirdest yeah, stuff yeah, is happening. Yeah. Like, crap. Yeah, yeah, Come on, bro, yeah, you're better than yeah, that. Yeah. The two shots that I had put on target have gone in for goals. He's got seven shots on target. Di Maria so far has been a massive, massive disappointment. Di Maria so far has been a massive, massive disappointment. He gets us the goal right there! Di Maria, dude, he doesn't even know. Wow. Bro, his guy almost glitches into the ground. A top left! Choose your destiny. Flawless victory. Wait a second! Mia, Di Maria! Di Maria! Is pinpoint accurate! How was he there already hugging Cavani? He got freaking murdered! Oh! What a gonna be mounted from that hit! Dude, his keeper shouldn't be able to do that. Just headbutts the shit out of Di Maria. If there's a knock on Di Maria, and I think it's one that everyone knows, it's his strength, man. His strength really lets him down, especially if you have him as, as a central player. But Di Maria's card, nowhere near strong enough. The Cavani card was absolutely incredible. Carlitos was insane. I don't know how we didn't win that first match. It just ended up going to pens. It was one of those matches that ended up going to pens and it didn't go our way. We get the hat trick with upgraded Cavani. Three goals for him, one for Di Maria. And would I say that Di Maria's card is worth it for the amount of coins that I paid? I would say definitely not. Again, it was only two matches. Technically, shouldn't even have the two matches because we did get kicked out of the tournament, the Lord of the Rings freaking Gollum tournament in the first round. 18 shots, seven on target. Definitely felt like we should have won that one. But uh, yeah, fade to Di Maria, I would say. If you're really used to playing with a winger formation, I would say definitely try him out. But uh, at his current price, I think he's just a little bit too expensive. I would say maybe just stick to his regular one. Uh, plenty of other wingers in Liga you can use. Love Lucas, um, used him extensively this year, uh, as well as others. Dalvon, I believe, is a right winger um, who just got an upgrade, so his inform card you can get for pretty cheap. So he would be another winger that I would, rep uh, I would recommend. But that's going to be the episode, boys. The Lord of the Ring. Di Maria, Fanta Di Maria tournament. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And like I said, Ultimate World League definitely coming tomorrow. Sorry that, sorry that that one's been so delayed, but I think you guys are really going to enjoy episode number one. And um, yeah, the only thing holding it back was the graphics. But that's the episode for today, boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Instagram and Twitter links if you guys want to interact with me there are there as well. But I will see you guys per usual for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. I did.